Nandi Ndaitwa shared her vision of shared prosperity but highlighted the significant challenge posed by poor public service delivery which has a negative impact on the country's economic growth. She attributed this challenge to a lack of patriotism, noting that individualism often takes precedence over nationalism. I want to see a shared prosperity. And whoever comes and discuss such issues, that will always attract my interest in the past, now, and in the future. So I said from my assessment, I feel the biggest challenge we are having in this country, our service delivery is very poor. And who are the people who are providing this service? It's the people who are employed, both in the public service and the private sector. But because the service that we need to serve both the public and the private sector is more in the public sector. The vice president expressed lack of patriotism has hindered the country's progress, preventing it from moving at a necessary speed to achieve its goals. To address this issue, incorporating patriotism into the school curriculum, drawing inspiration from countries such as Cuba, will do, she suggested. It's because there is no patriotism in this country. That's how we came to discuss the word patriotism as to what it means. People are thinking of themselves more than thinking of others. People are calling themselves we and them instead of us talking about we, our country. She believes that instilling a sense of patriotism from a young age will help cultivate a nationalistic spirit among the youth ultimately leading to a more united and prosperous Namibia. Other speakers at the event included Henry Nakudingirirwa, the president of Tukwasa Youth Organization, Minister of Higher Education Dr. Itakanji Murangi, and NAST Vice Chancellor Dr. Harold Namap. How can we, as the youth of this nation, demonstrate our patriotism in a tangible, meaningful ways? The answer lies in innovation, smart partnership, and being patriots. Example by patrioting the cause of industrialization and economic development. Therefore, a nation's education system should aim to be adaptive if it is to remain relevant at different developmental phases of the country. All economies, any economy, will undergo inflection points that requires budget recalibration and adjustment. 